I made a device to test the strength of the paragliding cloth. And it's the bezometer. It's right over here. You might think, what's this all about? Well, what's happening is your paraglider cloth is going to get weaker due to abrasement, abrasion, and also to uh, due to UV. So the Skytex material in general, uh, 24, 27, whatever, 32, uh, is going to uh, deteriorate. And there's a way to measure that, and that's with this bezometer. This is um, just a spring um, scale and uh, measures up to 600 gram, grams, and that's my reference. I have a needle uh, punched in here. It's static. It's... Uh, almost 1.2 millimeters and I'm going to punch it into the fabric and then we're going to pull and if I don't have a tear on 600 grams then uh, my material is has enough strength to fly a paraglider. I got this uh, 600 grams uh, from one of the ma paragliding manufacturers. So we're going to do the test here. I have uh, the cloth of my um, of my Skywalk harness, which was uh, very porous, so I had to cut it off because it was not inflating anymore. So I'm gonna put it over this tube. And what I do is I punch in the needle and then I'm gonna pull up to 600 and see if it's gonna hold. You see, it's ripping. I'm not even at 600 and it's ripping. So, I have a rip here, so that means the cloth is not strong enough. We can do another test here with a part that suffered maybe more. So we go over here, do it again. So you punch in the needle and then you pull up to 600. You see, and it's, it's almost holding here. So some parts are better than other parts. So I think this, this is very porous here. You can see it, so we're gonna do the test again. Punch the needle in, and then we're gonna pull it. Yeah, it's holding. It might also depend on the direction you do it. I had another piece earlier, and it was disastrous. So we're gonna do it again. Up on this one, up. Yeah, you see, it's just, it's ripping here. So this piece is very, very weak. So the weakest link is bad. So you see, it just rips apart. But if you take like this rip stop, I don't know, was it 27 Skytex or whatever, but it's pretty new because it's from my back and you're gonna see the difference. So I'm gonna punch it in and now I'm gonna pull it. You see, I'm at 600 and nothing happens. I can even go further to one kilo and it stays very strong. The spring scale I bought on Amazon, the needle at a home from a Singer sewing machine, and the toothpick keeps the needle in place. <laughs>